Hey everybody, today I wanna to talk about the Elite HRV training app. I'm gonna show you the app, I'm gonna show you how it works, give it a little review. Um, so let's dig in and get into the app. You can see that I have the app open on my screen here. Um, I have a, I'm using it on my iPhone, but it also works for Android. This app is 100% free to use. Um, so let's talk about what it is and how it works. So basically what it is, is you actually take your HRV every day, and the app's gonna give you a readiness score to tell you how your body's been handling things like stress, training, fatigue, lack, lack of sleep, things like that. So let's get in, let me show you how it works, and let me show you what the data looks like. All right, so the first thing you do, you log in, and you're gonna have to take a test. So you need to wear a heart monitor. Now I'm wearing a Polar H10 strap, um, they also have their own monitor, which is called a CoreSense. You can actually see a picture of it on the screen here, and the CoreSense sells for about like 165, uh, so it's kind of pricey versus a heart rate monitor, which is significantly cheaper. So I totally recommend if you're using this app, you just use your chest strap. Unfortunately, the app does not work with things like Aura Ring, uh, Whoop. It doesn't work with Apple Watch, anything else that calculates HRV like that. Um, they explain why, and they basically say because they can't get into the data to read it. Um, but so basically you need a heart rate strap if you're going to use this. All right, so we're going to actually jump in and take a test. So I'm going to click take reading because I've yet to take my morning reading. I am wearing my Polar H10 strap. Um, so let's go. Let's take our reading. You can see what it does. It's actually connecting to my heart rate monitor right now. You can see it connected in one second. And now it's giving me, you know, a solid 15 seconds to get ready. And those are options that you can set within the app. So I have it set to give me 15 seconds to get ready. I need to breathe and relax now. You can see the little breathe symbol. So once it's done, you can see that it automatically pops up this screen and it asks you to log any recent activity. You can log things like your exercise. If I wanna log my exercise here, I can add it. Um, you can add your mood or anything like that. I'm gonna click skip for now. And what it's gonna do is it's giving me my reading. So you can see it tells me I'm on a streak because every once in a while I miss a day. So I'm on a four day streak right now. Um, but you can see that it's giving me a readiness score of seven, which tells me that I'm in a good position to go work out today. You can see that if I was in the yellow or red areas that it would be an issue. It gives me my HRV score and my heart rate right now. Now, I've actually worked out already this morning, so I'm not gonna go work out again. So my HRV is actually really good for having worked out. Um, and then once you're on this screen, you can actually scroll down and you can see that it's giving you some various things like your trends, data details. And we're gonna come back to this in just a second because I wanna click save and get to the main screen of the app because now we're basically almost at the beginning. So I've already taken my HRV. And remember, I took my HRV with my Polar chest strap. Then I can actually, so basically when you use the app normally, you're gonna open it up and it's gonna show you your score for the day. I can click on that score again to see all those statistics that it was showing me prior. And then I can just keep, or I can keep scrolling down and it's gonna show me a lot of different data. Now, one of the things that I find kind of, I, that I don't like about the app is that there's, it seems to be very busy. Now, they give you tons and tons of data, which I'm gonna show you, and I love that. I really like that, I appreciate it so much. But the app is really busy and it takes a, I'd say it takes a solid like week or two to really get used to the interface enough that you know where the data you want is. Because there's some in some instances, there are several ways to get to the same piece of data. And sometimes it takes like three or four clicks to actually get to the place you want to get to. So let me show you what I mean. So we're on the main screen here, which is home. You can see on the left hand side, you can see here's so here's today's reading. If I click on today's reading, I can scroll down. And this is what it gave me right after I did my reading. You can see if I click like by week, it shows me all these weeks that, you know, I was testing to see my HRV. I can check by years. I can check data details for any of these. And then there's just a bunch of other information because they want you to actually read and learn about HRV and do some other things like breathing tests, which I'm going to talk about. Let's click on our data details. So I can look at my data details for any time, but this is for today. And you can see, I can see what happened, what my HRV was doing during the test. And then I can click on any of these and actually get more details like RMM, um, RMSSD. And you can see that it actually goes into 
the statistics for that. And I can see SDNN and click on that. So you can see they're giving you tons. I mean, just tons of LF power, um, HF power, just tons of data here that you can get in. And that's for my reading for today. But, okay, so let's go back. So you can see I was like in like three or four clicks there. So you can see it's kind of a couple clicks to get the things. So that's the main screen here. Now, you can see this insight. If I click this trends, it's actually going to take me to the, the trends of the lower hand part of the screen. So I can click it here or down here. It doesn't matter. Either way, it takes me to the same place. So that's one of the ways that it, like there are multiple ways to get to the same thing, which makes the app a little confusing in my opinion. Um, but the cool thing about the trends, so you can see I can see one week, two week, one month, one year. Um, green is good, red is bad, yellowish, orange is okay. Um, and you can see, so look at all the information they give you here. I mean, literally, here's my HRV, seven day average, coefficient. And you can just actually see as I scroll down here, there's like 20 different <laughs> things that they're literally giving me. I can set what those are by clicking this uh, little settings button on the top right hand corner. And you can see all the different options. I have them all checked just so I can show you guys, but uh, I don't usually keep them all checked. But it's actually unbelievable the amount of data that they give you. Usually we have like problems like, you know, I'm in like Garmin and I'm like, why is Garmin hiding this piece of data from me? This company, Elite HRV, is actually giving you too much data. And that's not a bad thing. I think it's actually really good because then people can pick and choose what pieces of data they want. If I click this middle button, it's a plus. That's how I take my morning HRV test. Um, or I can just take an open reading like right now if I want to take another HRV test. I sometimes like doing it at night too to see how my body, body has recovered throughout the day. Then on the right hand side of the screen, we have this breathing, but basically very similar to any like breathe app or meditate app. Um, if you have breathe on the Apple watch, this is like mimicking it uh, to a T, um, but it gives you some breathing exercises that you can practice. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, then we get to the next part of the app. So the basic first part of this app as I go to home is to give you a daily HRV score. I'm just refreshing, give you a daily HRV score to tell you if you're ready or not for the day. It, am I good to train? Am I not? How you want to interpret that is up to you. Some people, when they're on red, they definitely won't train or they'll lower intensity. That's what the, you know, you're really recommended to do, but some people just train through it. It really depends on the person and you and how you feel that day. Um, but when you have a good HRV score and you're feeling good, you, that's a good sign to go train, right? So that's the basic point of the app. But when I click this learn button on the right, it actually provides me with some really cool stuff. So first of all, they give you some links to podcasts, various articles like read this, um, you know, various articles around the web that you can go in and read and learn different things about HRV, which is really cool. I'm kind of glad they do this. And, you know, it's nice. Some of these articles are pretty good. And you can see there's like a bunch of stuff like I can just click on any of these and read it. Pretty cool stuff. Then they have their courses. So you click on courses and these are offered by various people um, and they're actually really useful courses that I would like to take, but they do cost money and some of them are kind of significant. Like just pricing a couple of them were from 50 to maybe over $100 for the course. So a little pricey for something on a phone app um, when I would rather it just be like free or like a $10 fee or something like that. So it was a little pricey, but they're there anyway. Okay, so that's the basic point of the app. So this app is 100% free. Now, Elite HRV, let me just talk a little bit about them. So first of all, they do have a paid version of this app. It's actually $8 a month for a person. And I think it's like $30 a month for a team, something like that. Um, but what this paid version gives you is A, it gives you more detailed in-depth statistics where they analyze your HRV even further. And it also gives you access to their website version. So you can actually access all your information from the web, which is pretty cool. Um, I actually would really love to be able to do that. But at $8 a month, that's a little pricey for me personally. I think that it would be worth me paying $8 total or $8 a year or $8 forever, I would probably do it. Definitely worth it because um, the app's great. But $8 a month, that's like another, that's like a bill all of a sudden that I just like don't need. I'm already paying like exercise bills like Strava, gym, whatever else I'm paying for. Uh, Zwift, I don't need like more. I'm trying to like cut those down. <laughs> like everything's just like another subscription. So I'm not a fan of subscription model for anything. Um, so it is $8 a month. So that's up to you whether you would want that or not. Um, 
about the company itself. So I have only positive things to say about Elite HRV. Um, they seem to, this actually is a new app update. They're working on this app, they're updating it. This app has been around for several years now. They do, they do a really good job of keeping it update, providing you with information, providing new sources, um, you know, educating the populace about the importance of HRV and what it is. Um, I had to reach out to them actually about two years ago. Uh, I was working on a research study dealing with HRV and they were very responsive to me. They got back to me right away. They wanted to help out in any way they can. Um, actually really cool that, you know, when you reach out to companies for things like that, that they do respond to you. Cause I have reached out to other companies, not in regards to HRV, but other companies in the fitness industry about research and various things. And some of them were completely not responsive, either didn't respond or were not interested in even talking to me whatsoever. Um, whereas elite HRV was very interested in what I was doing. They had a couple questions. They, you know, it was a great interaction with them. So I, you know, I, I've, really appreciate that as a company. So I want to support a company that does things like that, that supports people who are trying to, you know, learn more about HRV and do research and just users of their product. So pretty cool. Free app, works on Android, Apple, gives you your score. I mean, it's so in-depth. They provide so many statistics. Um, I'd say that the only big downfall of their app is it doesn't work with Aura, Apple Watch, or Whoop, or anything like that. It does require use of a chest strap. I highly recommend you just go out, buy a chest strap. They're super, they're really not expensive to go out, buy one on Amazon. Um, they do offer their CoreSense, which I'll show a picture of again. It's a nice finger monitor. It's a little pricey in my opinion. If it was like $30, I would probably buy it because I think it'd be worth it because I don't have to put on a chest strap each morning. I just like measure my finger, but at like over 150, it's like 165 right now. I think that's a little on the high end for something like this. Um, but still that's, you know, totally your call up to you. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. You know, I've went through the whole entire app. It's pretty basic. There's only you know, so many screens, but there's tons of data here. And I really like that. So anyway, enjoy. Let me know in the comments um, if you like the app, if you're using it, what you like, what you don't like, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, have a nice day. I'll see you.